Hi, welcome to Scope Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at vertically opposite angles. So whenever we have two straight lines across each other, the opposite angles are always equal to each other. So as you can see here, we've got this diagram, and we've got two acute angles shown in green, and they would be equal to each other. And we've got two obtuse angles here shown in red, and they would be equal to each other. So if we've got two straight lines across, the opposite angles are always equal to each other, and they're called vertically opposite angles. Let's have a look and see why they're equal to each other. So as you can see, this is the diagram we just looked at, and here we've got another diagram, and I've marked in one of the angles being 30 degrees, and let's find the other three angles and show that the opposite angles are equal to each other. So if this is 30 degrees, you can see here we've got a straight line, this is a straight line, and the angles in a straight line add together to be 180 degrees. So if this angle is 30 degrees, if we take it away from 180 degrees, we can find the size of this angle here. So let's do 180 degrees, so 180 degrees, subtract 30 degrees, and that's equal to 150 degrees. So that means this angle will be 150 degrees. Now we want to find the size of this green angle here, which you can see here's another straight line, so this is another straight line here. So that means that if we take 150 degrees away from 180 degrees, we can find the size of this angle. So we're going to do 180 degrees, subtract 150 degrees, and that's equal to 30 degrees. So that means that this angle would be 30 degrees, and that's fantastic because that's equal to the angle opposite it. That's fantastic. And finally, we've got this angle at the bottom here. Well, as you can see, there's another straight line here. So if we take our 30 degrees away from 180 degrees, we can find the size of this angle. So if we do 180 degrees, subtract 30 degrees, which we've already done here at the top, that's equal to 150 degrees. So this angle at the bottom will be 150 degrees. And that's fantastic because the opposite angles are equal to each other. So the, as you can see, whenever we have two straight lines across each other, the opposite angles are equal, and they're called vertically opposite angles. Okay, let's have a look at a question now. So here we've got two straight lines across each other, and we've got x and we've got 162 degrees, and we've been asked to find the size of this angle. Because the lines are straight and they cross each other, that means we've got vertically opposite angles. These angles are going to be equal to each other. So this angle x would be 162 degrees, they're the same as each other. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So this time we've got two straight lines across each other, and we've got x, y, and 35 degrees, and we've been asked to work out the size of angle x. So because we've got two straight lines across each other, the opposite angles are equal. So if this is 35 degrees, that means x would also be equal to 35 degrees because they're opposite each other. So this would be 35 degrees. So work out the size of angle x, it's going to be 35 degrees. Next, we've been asked to work out the size of angle y. Now, we've got two different ways we can do that. One way is to look at this straight line. So as you can see, there's a straight line here. So these two angles will add up to be 180 degrees. So if we take 35 degrees away from 180 degrees, we can find the size of this angle y. So let's do that. 180 degrees subtract 35 degrees. So let's do our subtraction. 0 take away 5. Well, let's borrow. So let's call that a 7, and that's now 10. 10 take away 5 is equal to 5. 7 take away 3 is equal to 4. And 1 take away 0 is equal to 1. So it'll be 145 degrees. So if this angle is 35 degrees, this angle here, y, because it's a straight line, will be 145 degrees. And that's it. Now there were a couple of other ways we could do it. We could have looked at this straight line, and we could have done 180 degrees, take away this 35 degrees to get the size of this angle. Or another way we could approach it to find the size of this angle, y, would have been to add the 35 degrees and the 35 degrees together, and that would have been 70 degrees. Take that away from 360 degrees, because the angles at a point add up together to be 360 degrees. So we would have done 360 degrees, take away 70 degrees, which would be 290, and then we could have halved it to find the size of y and the opposite angle. So half of 290 would have been 145 degrees. But either approach would be fine. I think it's easier just to take 35 degrees away from 180 degrees to find the size of this angle. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at vertically opposite angles. So if we've got two straight lines across each other, the opposite angles will be equal to each other. And that's it.